Chances are when you hear the reason for storm power outages, it's a reason you've heard before. In fact, it's the favorite response from Memphis Light, Gas and Water. Local 24's Mike Matthews decided to check and see how many times the utility gave us the same reason over the years. Well, there have been more power outages. We've had a lot of them recently. And normally in Memphis, when there are power outages, you get an explanation. The same one over and over. Summer in Memphis. Yes, it's hot. Of course it's hot. Hot weather, you don't lose electricity in hot weather. Well, you don't want to. People have actually died in this city in homes without power, without air conditioning. So when there's a big outage, people want to know why. Memphis City Council members asked just four months ago. I'm just trying to figure out when the sun is shining, why are we having so many power outages? The sun was shining last weekend in sections of Midtown when the power went out for about two hours. There were several storms as well earlier. Here's what Memphis Light, Gas and Water officials said the reason for those power outages was. A lot of times it's the trees or limbs that's falling into our power lines. So it's good if customers can keep the, their trees, you know, cut back a certain distance. If that seems logical, it must have seemed logical last year, June 2017. Severe thunderstorms, high winds, we're going to have some limbs and some trees fall into our, our electrical lines. Don't forget October of 2014. There were so many trees that fell into our lines, to our facilities, and to homes. So those trees caused a whole lot of damage. Let's skip to November of 2015. A big problem in Shelby County is always the trees. The trees, the limbs, they fall into our wires, and then the, the wind itself was a major problem. Oh, once in a while you'll get a squirrel getting into a power substation that will knock out power for thousands, but not like trees, they say. Well, the city council actually wants some answers about the recent power outages, and they are expected to talk about it and ask questions next Tuesday. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.